Welcome to a brief history conspiracy. So yeah, please like and subscribe to the series. It really does help us. So we're going to do 9/11. A bit more conspiracy related, rather than it just would be the nice to do a conspiracy, conspiracy. when we yeah. add conspiracies in is that this, title. This is a Um, but what are the what are the big areas you want to that you really want to The big hit areas on? that are worth looking into. Well, follow the money. Yeah. So the two point three trillion dollar hole in the Department of Defense budget that the Pentagon, uh, that Donald Rumsfeld, or the Pentagon's budget that Donald Rumsfeld announced on September the tenth, two thousand one. Literally the day before. The day yeah. before, and then the subsequent day, the uh, accounts actually, and bookkeeping so, section of the Pentagon the being hit. Have you ever watched the video of Rumsfeld announcing that? Yes. He is smirking. Yeah. He's he, he he's actually almost sort of like <laughs> we've lost two point three trillion. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he he is he does not look like it's a man. It's that's, almost like that's he's thinking, a man that knew tomorrow there'd be no evidence and nobody would be talking about it. Because oh, they they didn't just destroy the uh, the accounts and bookkeeping mm. section of the Pentagon. They destroyed the only backup of that yep. computer system, which was in Trade, World Trade Center Seven. Yeah. Oh, they of, did a of, really of the, good. Uh, yeah. In New York, which was the third building that collapsed yeah. at nearly free full speed that day. Exactly. So what is it? They lost two point three trillion. Is it two point three? Two point two point three, somewhere something around there, like somewhere. Like um trillion. That would be enough to sort out our entire deficit. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'd be pretty good to, to clear most of America's deficit. And quite um, a large chunk, yeah. Quite a lot of their debt, sorry. It would wipe out almost all their debt. And they lost it. Um yeah, I think so, following the money. Um, I think Rumsfeld is is up to this in his into his eyeballs. Well, um, yeah, so is Cheney. Of course he is Dick Cheney. Yeah. Uh, and um, and I don't, I generally don't think I don't Henry think Bush Kissinger much about it. They tried to appoint Henry Kissinger, didn't they, as the like the head of the nine eleven commission report? He's yeah, a name, he's just a named CIA cover up guy, isn't he? Well, um, yeah, I mean he was up to his eyeballs in the JFK assassination, Kissinger, yes. and, and all that. So, I like the certain things like. The golden bullet of 9/11, the um, unburnt passport, the passport oh, that they just God. found on the floor. Oh, what a what a joke! Yeah, all right. You'd think after the, on. after the magic bullet debacle, whoever thought they would? Uh, I don't the know. Magic passport. The magic passport. Really? I, know, I think they they probably thought we have to do it because we have to like tie these people up to this quite quickly, and I mean, yes, also, that's what it seems like to me. It seems like a setup. I want I want to double check, but. The first time Osama bin Laden's name was mentioned, I'm pretty sure was on 9/11. It was by the night time. It was already being talked about on the news. Yes. But I want to double check that. It might have been the next Which, day. But it was bloody quick. I struggle to understand how they didn't see it coming, but then mm -hmm. named him so quickly. Yeah. And he hadn't released a video, which is what they normally do. They do a terror attack, and there's a video almost straight away saying, "Yes, we did this." And you know, they have that thing in the cave with the web guy with guns, guns in the background, and did a big thing. And it's all over the internet. They didn't do that until quite a while after. And then some bin Laden almost sort of, it almost seemed like getting pushed on from the side, going, oh, 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 oh yeah, I did it. Um, and, and there's some questions to if, whether it was even him. It could have just been a bloke with a beard. Um, so that's... If you, look at, if you look at the earlier, like... He was um, a CIA stooge. The earlier well. videos he did, and then compare them to the later videos, he doesn't even look like the same guy anymore. Yeah. It's, it, it, looks very, it looks very similar... But there, there are some differences that make you question whether it's even the same person. When he was doing the videos about how he, how he was, you know, with nine eleven. Oh, and then, and then they buried him at sea. That was another. That's suspicious as hell as well. It's almost like they got to a point where they just thought, okay, we've got to do this now. Okay, we took him away in pa in uh, Pakistan. It was pa he was in Pakistan, wasn't he? He was oh, yeah in Pakistan. Um, in we took him away. I think. Um, in a massive complex, which is again, I mean, it was basically living in a mansion, um, hiding. Um, he wasn't in a cave at all, and then they so that they, we'd almost got to a point where, for some reason, they just thought we've got to get rid of him now. 
And then they, you know, like you said, they wrapped him up and threw him off a boat. And they said, because their argument was, we can't, like, martyr him. Yep. And so we just want to get rid of him. Mm. I don't know if I buy that either. But they did but, it really quickly. And then two weeks later, ISIS came into existence. Because their yep. war on terror didn't mean a lot anymore without Osama bin Laden. They needed a new bad guy. Yes. Hmm. Yep. Almost like it's orchestrated <clears throat> by some agency mm. that's involved in deep intelligence. Yeah. Like a like a like a one in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Like centrally. Maybe a country yeah. that's got military bases all over the world and could... eight hundred foreign military bases. That still astounds me. Eight hundred foreign military bases. There's only hundred and ninety something countries. Yeah. If you actually look at it as well, in the American four times the military bases. I'll put countries. the map up again as well. All the pinpoints of all the military American military bases around the world. It's a big circle all the way around the equator, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and like, and it's, it's yeah, that got makes it sense because it covered it, the temperate zones. I suppose there's, there's, yeah. there's some at the north and yeah, 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 the south, south, south poles. Yeah, but the there's, big not, there's not as much land mass is there as you get closer to the poles. No, or, no, no, no. Well, there, there is, but they just they they specifically put bases though to make sure that everywhere was in, within range of their aircraft, which is why they uh, rented that um, island off us. The only thing, MH, Diego Garcia. Diego Garcia. The only reason they wanted that was because it, they had a big chunk of, of of Indian Ocean or whatever that wasn't within range of their bombers. Diego Garcia gave them that, so that's why they gave us. That's why they rented it off us and built the base there. It was just so they've got coverage, and they uh, trust me. Wherever you live in the world, the Americans have got you covered. That's, and that's not necessarily scary. a good thing. No, no, that's quite a scary thing. <laughs> um, there is pretty really... much nowhere in the world they can't put a drone on you if they want to. Mm. Yes. Mm. you got to wonder who's the bad guy in this situation. In all, all the movies, the Americans are always the good guy and they're fighting off the evil. That's a perspective thing, though, isn't it, really? Oh, it is his perspective. One guy's yeah, freedom is. fighter is another guy's terrorist. Yes, they say. exactly So that. you got to wonder who is the real good guy. Indeed. And who gives America the... Uh, why do they get to decide who who is and who isn't yeah. legitimate resistance? You've got to wonder, in the future, when we look back on history, I mean, our ancestors look back, then they might consider the Russians the good guys, you know, like they're, they're fighting the tyranny of the Americans. But they might well or do. Or the Chinese. It, their... Depending on how America continues, yes. Yeah, you've got to wonder. It's only existed as a country for a couple of hundred years, and I think it's had ten major wars, so they average a major war every 20 years. Mm. Well, their entire industry is based on war, and that is the point we think of 9-11, isn't it? that it was orchestrated to give an excuse for the Americans to begin a 20-year war. It was orchestrated war. to get the public behind continuing to pay lots of tax money into black budget, yeah. secret operations such as DARPA and Area mm -hmm. 51, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, and to stop the taxpayers from, from whinging about all their money disappearing mm. to these... If Satan has a front black, company... Black op. Yeah. If Satan has a front cool. company, it's DARPA. Yeah, yeah. It's well, the public face of Satan. Was it their, their, their messages? We the de development of weapons for the future. Mm. Uh, so they're always twenty five years ahead, uh, supposedly. Yeah. Or that's what they're aiming for: twenty five, fifty years their ahead. Their goal seems to be. I think I, was, I saw David Icke talking about this. Their goal seems to be to devise weapons to kill you without damaging your furniture. And that is um, that is pretty sick, you know. They want to they, they want to wipe people out, but then they want to be able to That's take over that land, and that seems to be the goal. Vaporize you. Yeah, that would be the mm. ideal. Is that they could vaporize you, so then we could move in without any yuckiness. <laughs> or you send in the robots that eat people. We're going to talk about that in the next episode. Um, yeah, yeah, that's quite scary. Clear isn't it? up the road, Wally. Wally. Robots <laughs> fueled by organic matter so they can clean dead body, bodies up. Yeah, just clean up the dead. Yeah, clean up the dead. Mm. In the cities and things as well. But but we'll talk about that in the next episode. Yeah. Um, for me, 9-11 seemed to be to, to, the, to, the, to give them an excuse. I don't understand why... I've said to you before, I don't understand why they invaded um, Iraq. Mm -hmm. That seemed like a revenge attack to me. They just needed to invade someone. Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. There is no connection. They should have invaded Saudi Arabia. Nah, but um, there's the, the, no vested interest in but that. They, they could the invade Saudis Iraq. Saudis were already in bed with the Americans. Yeah. But they could invade Iraq, that was the point. They could, so they did. Hmm. That seems to be the point of it. And I don't think many people really argue with that. There's no logical reason why they invaded Iraq. No. And then they invaded apart Afghanistan. From, apart from the puppet they'd installed, Saddam Hussein yeah. wasn't willing to do... Whatever they, yeah, they they wanted anymore. to invade him. So no, no, he just he just wasn't playing ball anymore, was he? With, yeah, with the Americans exactly. And he was still threatening to put um, use the euro to to 
to um, sell um, yes oil. A any anybody yes bad. anybody that threatens to sell oil in anything but the American dollar ends up in uh, invaded and occupied. Gaddafi did the same. Yeah, so spank him. So again, pu puppet that yeah. was installed probably by yeah. the CIA didn't want to do business anymore. Yeah. But again, the, uh, and then then they invaded Afghanistan. So basically, they said to the uh, to the Taliban. Um, you've got Osama bin Laden, we want him, and if you don't give it him us, we'll invade you. And they gave him like 48 hours, and the Taliban refused, so we invaded him. That should have been a special forces assault. There was no yes. reason to actually invade the country. No. But they did anyway. And and Afghanistan is notoriously difficult to invade. <laughs> um, so, again... You've Alexander, got to wonder Alexander what the, the reasoning failed. for. In fact, I think no one's no in recorded history there is no one that has conquered Afghanistan. Yeah, and we haven't. We're still fighting them now. They they are still thinking. As soon as as soon as we leave the Taliban or, or or whatever you call them when they have a resurgence, then we'll just yeah. take back the over. The terrain's too mountainous. It's just it's, it's just, a horrific it's place to fight. Pointless. Um, it, it, even with the modern technology, drones, etc., all the cave systems have got. It's an incredibly but also uh, there so are tough people mm. they don't they know how to fight they know how to fight these sort of conflicts and they know their so, own terrain yeah and they know it's difficult so but there was again but the, from a from a tactical point of view there was no reason to invade that country but there was heroin that's not tactical that's but it is financial tactical. well it's financial it's yeah, okay there's no tactical reason it was a financial reason the americans yeah. didn't have their finger in that pie and they reckon it's a 400 yeah. billion dollar a year trade in heroin so Nice. You argue though that the reason for the fight has got nothing for invading Iraq, Afghanistan had nothing to do with Iraq. It had nothing to do with nine eleven. Had nothing to do with a tactical thing. And it Bin was, Laden wasn't there anyway. And Bin Laden wasn't there anyway, which they'd have almost certainly known. It's almost like they just create a narrative so they can do what they want. Yeah, but and by <laughs> Osama Bin Laden was in Pakistan, and um, and we've never done anything about that. We've never tapped him on the shoulder because Pakistan's got nuclear weapons. That, and we've never exactly. sort of tapped on the shoulder and gone, did you, did you know he was there? Are you sure? <laughs> Something. Because he lived in a mansion and we've got bills with his name on, probably, I don't know, his electric bill, Mr. Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> I imagine that's what happened. Um, I think that's probably how we found him. He signed up to to Sky Internet or something. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. He got a new internet contract and accidentally put his name on it. I'm like, damn, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to cut out that I just did a racist accent. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I would cut that, that bit <laughs> out, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's what happened. He accidentally put his name on a, on a bill or something. Um, Possibly. Or they can turn on almost every camera. They, th they think there are back doors into your, into your laptop. So they, the CIA cameras, and whoever yeah. can see what you see. So if he had a phone or a computer or anything in that building, they'd have known he was there, and they probably knew he was there for a long time. Um, but anyway, that's, that's yeah, but another... There was no, they had no interest. They needed him as the scapegoat. Mm -hmm. They needed him to keep American mm -hmm. taxpayers funding the war on terror and funding yeah. weapons development and Just to keep that bad military guy in the industrial complex. Yeah. yeah. That's that's why I find it very suspicious, the chronology of how quickly ISIS appeared after he was dead. Mm -hmm. There's always a bad guy. There's there's also the chronology of the the events on the day. Um, yes. No fighters being um, scrambled. When the fighters were scrambled, they shot out out to sea because they they were expecting. They thought it was sort of a, what what normally like um, going out to antis, um, intercept Russian aircraft, which is something we do all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, so there was a complete cock up. The whole thing about the training exercises on the day, yes, um, again. which they also did for Seven Eleven, if you remember, in this country, they yes. had exercises on the day, which confused things. Coincidence? And coincidentally, um, we passed the same laws as the laws that were passed in America after Nine Eleven, after yeah. Seven Seven. Seven um, Seven, sorry, yeah. Which was the uh, yeah, that, the, similar to the Patriots Act. I can't remember what ours was called. Uh, yeah, we had multiple. We instead of one act, we had sort of. You also had. It was a self defence thing, wasn't it? But there was, there's multiple laws put in over here. You, you also had the Madrid, the, same the Madrid bombings where they did the same and imposed yeah. the same laws in Spain as yeah. well, which was putting up some resistance, wasn't it, to the 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 the, 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 the same sort of yeah. bill as the Patriots. But act. something we'll talk about a lot is false flag, and this is a this is a classic mm -hmm. false flag type thing, and I think we'll probably have to do an episode where we just talk about false flag instance the americans yeah the americans history is littered with them even some that yeah. have now been proven through the official yeah. secrets act and information oh they've the accidentally released, released the documents a few times haven't they mm. we do 9 11 
and we're looking forward to that because it's a bit more we can get our teeth into that can't we yeah um, it's just just the 18th anniversary i don't think there'll past. be a lot of laughs but what i do no. want to do is um is is have some fire experiments and see how hard it is to burn a passport and uh, we want to tell my wife we're doing that no no yeah so I, I I just perfectly want to I just want to see that. Yeah, that'd be cool. I am yeah. going to end up burning my house down, but it's in the name of science. We'll get, we'll get some hydrazine. Hydrazine, <laughs> okay. Um, and then we have to try and figure out what nano uh, explosives are and things like that as well. We have to get our head around that. Nano so, thermite. Oh, I've got my head around that already. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Nano so, thermate. I yeah. think was used, isn't it? Which is a compound of nano thermite. Which is the brand of nano thermite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see. Cuts through better like cuts through steel like butter. Yeah. And then we have to ignore all the firemen that were going. There were secondary explosions in the basement. And they was like, another witch. Right. And okay, so let's do that. Leave yep. that. We've Leave been recording there. an hour. And um thank you very much. We will see you in a few weeks with um the start of series two. And uh thanks very much. Yeah, please like and subscribe. Always like and subscribe.